so welcome back to uh, video uh, we were doing the um, we're preparing our local on-premises uh, Active Directory to sync with the Azure AD online for our Office 365 and if you remember uh, if you have seen the other video I said that this uh, was not working basically uh, as soon as I stopped that video and I ran this command again it worked within a second basically what was happening is I was right clicking here and then running the uh, PowerShell as admin it turns out that you have to go to PowerShell right click more and then run as admin and then you get that uh, proper admin PowerShell so I ran it was right then it was too late I did not make another video so now I'm back and making another video let's do that so uh, we were taking the uh, I keep doing that so we were taking the commands from a web page I believe this one so I already ran this command now we're gonna run this command to run this command the proper way rather than do we type it in I'm gonna copy paste it so I'm gonna make the necessary changes that needs to be done that is user principal name replace so we know that my on-premises active directory domain name is imran.local we want it to be changed to ihamid not dot com but dot org and everything same we're gonna copy it hopefully since this is already running as a admin and we get this so I'm gonna just paste it and enter and you see right there I went to the next prompt so this should be done now if we go to our Azure ID connect and run I hope that we don't get that message about uh, um, it being game round out local account and you see we did not get the error message that we were getting earlier so enter your Azure AD global administrator credentials that would be let me if I can let's so you see now we did not encounter that error that means that the command successfully did everything oh I did want to do something let's go back basically I want to go back to my um, active directory I want to go to just to test because we are trial and error we're testing so I want to test what happened if I put something as imran.local and is it going to get the that add on microsoft.com account so let's select mr. Allen, Burr, Allen as the um, person that we use as a test account I can close it out and we go there now hopefully so it's asking me for the uh, that uh, global admin uh, or whatever so for that we're gonna go to our where did I do oh that should be in here office one and that if you can see this is admin so whatever your administ admin account over there here if you have multiple but since we have this one I'm gonna use this one and this password so where is server it's uh, admin at I have made on dot on dot on microsoft dot com and let's pass give it this password and hope that this works I remember the password okay first let me see if that's the admin uh, admin at ihamid.onmicrosoft.com. 
that is correct. Apparently, admin at ihamid.onmicrosoft micro.com. So apparently, I don't remember my password. So let's try it one more time. Mm, let's see if what I have lowercase. This is not it we're in trouble no that's not it so let me try another one that seemed to be working all right domain service enterprise administrator credentials active directory so you see it's not saying azure it's saying the one that i have administrator that would be I have me dot org slash administrator right and we're gonna give its password so basically whatever we use in our uh, uh, server right here in this active directory so this is the local on-premises username and password you can check the validate It's still going probably with the Imran dot local. Now let's go. See, it worked. So this is not verified. This is verified. Continue without matching all European fixes to verified domain. Yeah. So we can leave it that. So. now we're gonna install configuring and then it's gonna sync up why we need this the need is that uh, with Active Directory that fixed the problem that people or users in our organization on a floor or in a company they can use any computer with the same credentials they don't have to go and create if there are 200 computers they should not have login saved on all the computers I mean the local accounts work groups so with domain join, join if you, you should know what domain is and then you, it will make sense but in a nutshell with domain you just have one username and you can sit on any computer that computer as long as it is can domain join you can use it if it's a work group then for each number of users that you sit there they have to create a new account for that one and if they have to sit another computer the same credential files folders are not on the other computer so it's a whole process start again so the main uh, fix that problem but uh, since we are trying to go online and we want uh, our users to use the Microsoft uh, Office 365 essentially what's gonna happen is that we now the users have two username and passwords one for the uh, our local active directory to sit in on any computer and one so they can log in on microsoft office and that's not very efficient so to skirt that we sync our local active directory to our azure one so users can use the exact same credentials to log into that computer and then use the microsoft office as well so what happens is to log into the local computer where they, wherever they are sitting, our local Active Directory uh, 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 verifies them or authenticates them. But in case of uh, in in uh, in case of Azure, once you are connected with Azure, so you are basically giving Azure Active Directory to get the uh, authentic uh, authenticated um, authenticating process uh, done. Uh, the other good thing about that is since it's in the cloud so user can uh, be anywhere and they can uh, security verify and use the product or services so it's going through the step I don't know if you want to watch the oh, okay so we're done configuration complete everything is done it's saying is complete you can log into Azure to verify that user account from your local directory have been created okay we're gonna do that 
The next thing is not enable for your frost and forest and it's strongly recommended. We need to enable that, learn more. Unable to configure password hash synchronization. Open the event log for additional information. All right, so we, I think we're done. So what we're gonna do is, this is our server, we ran it from here. We're gonna go to our office. We're gonna go to our 365. And we don't see any user. We can click on refresh. And we see all the users here. And you see, Alan, we changed it. So he got the at ihamid.onmicrosoft.com. And everybody else, they got the ihamid.org, right? The reason that's why I choose Alan was it's A, so it's gonna be top out. And you see everything everybody else got i hamid and admin that this is the first account that we created so uh, naturally it has the this one but if you go to ali uh where is ali ali right there he is that was the second account and he is uh with my domain so you see all these like um all the accounts they are here Ali was used by uh, was created in Office 365, so it got naturally it got my uh, correct uh, domain. Everybody else we synced, they got the correct one as well. Alan, Alan, because if you remember, we at the last minute we changed it, so it got from Imran.local to whatever Microsoft. Good. Everybody else is unlicensed because we gave Ali license when we're creating him, but. We, we sync them so we don't we can add them we can give them licenses from here oh that, sorry that's a password uh, we're gonna learn how to uh, manage product licenses for each one so now this these users we are seeing them and we are seeing all of them in our Microsoft 365 admin center but we added this user uh, from our local on-premises active directory uh, to Azure Active Directory using the Azure AD Connect. It, are all of these users are also showing up in Act, Azure Active Directory as well? Let's find out. So this is the Azure Active Directory. We're gonna click on it. It's gonna load. All right. So we see all of them are here. User and group. So these are pretty much we can add users from here as well or guest users but we want to see if e all of them are here can i click on them yes i can click one single one and this is aslan i can do all kind of uh, um, editing here but i want to see all users so you see all of the users are in here on this is the like a uh, automatic created sync server account that basically it will use to sync uh, an account um, on premises to online uh, Azure one. So if you look at all of them, they are exactly the same, like they weren't showing up in uh, admin center. Uh, there is one key difference. If you see is under source, all it's it's showing you where that user was created. Ali, we created in Office 365 uh, portal, so it's saying Azure Active Directory. These are all were created in our local on-premises Active Directory. If you have watched all of my previous videos, you would know when the which user was created. And you see, this is the admin account, so it was naturally created on Azure. So this is how you know that which one were local and which one weren't created online. Uh, since we run the Azure AD Connect, we need to find out if Ali shows up in our local account, a local Active, di active Directory, or not. That would be an interesting thing to find out. But so far, for the scope of this video, yes, we synced all of our um, um, local uh, AD users to our Azure AD users. Let's quickly show you if uh, Ali made it to uh the local one or not all <laughs> for a second i thought that was a leak i don't think so we can do a 
search somewhere here this one and we can entire directory we can do the Ali and nope so basically this is just to get our on-premises Active Directory users and migrate or sync them to the Azure Active Directory all right in the next video we're gonna uh, figure out a way if we can show or copy the accounts that we created online to our on-premises Active Directory if this video has helped you in any way uh, please consider um, sharing subscribing commenting or mm, I forgot okay it's getting too late uh, thank you for watching and share subscribe command all the regular stuff and good night